Welcome to European Championship 2024 FFJ. This is Junior Fly of First Start. It's Friday afternoon and wind is usually picking up in the afternoons here. So right now we have something like five, six, seven meters per second. Clear sky, some cumulus developments to the south. And I see that none of the juniors risked this start and they all started relatively high. So let me see if I can see anything. There are a couple of them in the sun and three further um, upwinds and south of the fields. So south of the field is a railway line and we have regular traffic over there. And also plenty of high voltage lines. So that doesn't look all too tempting there. But this morning there were some good thermals in that direction. So what are the guys over here doing? doesn't look all that good so they haven't lost much but they were blowing downwind a lot it's funny enough the other three guys are joining them as well so it must look better from the starting corridor Nicely spread out now. Can't really focus on any single one, but let's try the lowest guy, which is about here. Now coming over the house with the antennas, which is like a bit of a airport school and a tower. So let's see how this works out focus wise. Okay, so the other three guys are now really high up and just this guy here is struggling and I have to find him again.
still not too happy with tracking these RV planes. It does pretty good job with real planes though. So I have to figure out something. Now it looks like this competition is who will be able to come back. And before that, who can still see his model. But since these are juniors, I'm pretty sure they have good eyes. them through the camera. <laughs> Sorry, not much I can show here. So instead, let's try to show you the airfield. So we are on Lima Romeo Delta Victor. ICAO designation, if I remember correctly. It's the Deva airfield, or at least near the town of Deva, which is to the west of here. You see that fortress, that's the, above the town. And it's a nice big open field, actually a flat plain from the river that's meandering through this nice fertile valley. And the trees that you see in the distance, that's where the river is. So we have, I would say, a couple of square kilometers of meadow available, both for full-size flying and RC flying. And the runway they have here is oriented 1230. Uh, so slightly, uh, what is this? Northwest and southeast direction. So some of the guys went a bit upwind to follow their models and now they're coming back or at least going back to their landing points. Let's see if I can see anyone. Okay, so they're still spread out nicely, which is good and safe flying. No drama whatsoever. It's only six 
playing, I think, uh, six juniors in the fly-offs. And they have five minutes to go, and they're, all of them are overhead, at least, or in the sun. So, that's also a safe choice. It's better to have some time to prepare for a proper landing than rush it in the last minute or in the last 30 seconds. That's a recipe for a bad landing. So we've seen yesterday afternoon that it's possible for a quite strong sink to develop here on this field. So coming back a bit early and being this slow now is a bit risky. Until you see the clock, I think it's over two minutes still to go. Around three maybe. So maybe this guy was a bit too early. See if he can make the time. He's definitely trying. Now it, I think the clock said two minutes to go. Let's go for landing. Okay, where are the other ones? So I think this is the next one here. Hear some noises. People are now coming down with one minute to go. Okay. Now I have a lot of energy to waste. And now it gets interesting. Okay, I have now three planes just above me. Let's focus on the fast one. I can't. They're just overhead. Okay, 20 seconds.
Okay, round one for juniors done. Three more to go. I expect today will be the fly-off rounds where the difference will be made. And tomorrow morning we expect much less wind or maybe even no wind. And those will be the low start flights. About one and a half minute to start to the second fly-off for juniors. Conditions are much the same. Still easterly wind, about five to seven meters per second, I would say. And as I said, we are on an active airfield. Doesn't work. So let's oh come on. Need to set up some focus limiting or something. So again, the whole flock here in the sun. look into despite the sunglasses But interestingly, the wind is dying down or what? Maybe it will be better to just stick here in the airport area. There's a few flocks of or flags of uh, asphalt on the ground. Maybe that's enough to create some gradient, temperature gradient. But I don't know, the rest of the field is grass, which is pretty dry. So I don't really know. I see five planes here. Now with this nice background of the cloud. Don't know where is the sixth one.
so let's see how much longer we'll be able to keep up with them before they become just uh, single pixels on the YouTube screen. Okay, looks like they are not happy with that thermal anymore and they are spreading out. So one has decided to go north and four to the south. Okay, who will be the first one to start turning again? Looks like the north one. But he's not too happy with that either. So there's one more guy following him. Okay, some development. This looks good. This looks good turn. Ah, the sixth one, I find the sixth one, very low to my left. Okay, so these two guys now on the downwind and slightly to the north, they are in good air again. So let's see if this low guy will be able to join them. It looks good so far, but he's persisting. Ah, the other two are in a safe height, I would say. And here to the south, not as good. Again, looks a bit too low for comfort, and I would just stretch this to the landing points. It's a safe choice. Where are they flying? Okay, I see them. What's happening to the south? Okay, let's try to find this one. So under this speck of a cloud, there's uh, something shining. that far. 
It's probably over the south part of the town. I would start coming back if I were there. But he's in good air, look. He's definitely in good air there. So now looks like everyone has good air. Everyone circling here and it's the closest plane at the moment. Uh, let's see him yes here. Five minutes to go. So these two guys that decided to try the north side of the field definitely made a good choice. So both of them are now really high. Safe height and a nice distance, not too far. So it's gonna be easy to come back. The guy who's over there is also keeping his height. Now in between these two stacks of clouds. There. Now time to start coming home. No, looks like one more turn. Two minutes to go. Again, coming in the sun, of course, there's always a thermal in the sun. And above me, I can't follow. 
Let me turn around. And maybe pick a different one. One minute to go. Ha, oh, wind is picking up now. That's funny. It's always very nice on the final approach. You just set up your distance and approach angle and everything and then the wind picks up. Perfect. These juniors know how to handle that. Congratulations, well done. Very well done.